Welcome to the NetSuite training video provided by Trustangle Company. My name is Sarah Siyofi, and in today's video, we will be going over how to create a new custom role in NetSuite. First, we have to navigate to the setup, users and roles, and the click manage roles. A role is a defined access configuration that can be assigned to users. And in the Manage Role page, you will see the list of all the custom and the standard roles that are auto-generated from the NetSuite. And the best of practice is to use the standard roles to build your own custom roles. And that because the standard roles already come with a list of permissions that are commonly used to perform the daily task related to this role. And to create your custom role from the standard role, click on the Customize next to the standard role that is closely associated to the custom role that needs to be created. On the role page, you need first to enter the role name and the best practice is to start with the initial of the company, then the role name. For the center type, each role is tied to a center, and the centers determine the way tasks are organized on the tabs when the users log into NetSuite. And similar roles, such as sales roles, for example, will share the same centers. You can select the employee restrictions that will be associated to this role or select Don't Restrict Employee Fields. For the subsidiary restrictions, you can either select this role will be accessible for all subsidiary, the active subsidiaries, the user subsidiaries, or the selected ones from this list. To increase the security, you can set up the authentication options. In NetSuite, there is five categories of permissions. Transactions, reports, lists, setup, and custom record. Under each of these categories, you have the records to which the user will have access to. And you can add additional record permission. And also, you have the ability to define the access level of that permission. There are four access levels. View, Create, Edit, and Follow. For the view level, the user will have the ability to view these specific records. The Create level, the user will have the ability to view and create. For the Edit, the user will have the ability to view, create, and edit. For the Full, the user will have the ability to view, create, edit, and delete. For the restrictions of tab, you can restrict this role on a cl specific class, specific department, or specific location. For the form sub tab, you can select the forms that will be shown and viewed for that role and select the preferred ones. For the dashboard, you can choose and take the exact dashboard customization from another role that is using the same center. But you have to make sure that you add the published dashboard permission. Now when you finish, click Save. 